This is Rob Trudell reporting on electrical safety. For the crisis in the Gulf, electricity proves to be a major danger. Yes, it's true. The second American death related to our invasion of the Gulf was caused by electric currents surging through the body of a seaman. I'm going to outline some of the dangers of electricity, of electric shock and electrical fires. I'll provide you with specific methods of protecting yourself and of saving others by avoiding and limiting shock, by preventing fires with a specific method of removing victims from further danger, by administering emergency first aid and CPR. Electrocution in a legal sense, a method of inflicting the death penalty on a convicted criminal. A method of inflicting the death penalty on a convicted criminal by passing an electric current through the body. Electrocution was first used in 1890 in New York State. By 1972, at the time of the U.S. Supreme Court decision on capital punishment, electrocution was the method of implementing the death penalty in some 20 states. Death is assumed to be painless, with loss of consciousness being virtually instantaneous. Although only a small electric current is required to cause death in human beings, the electrical resistance of the human body is so high that a large voltage is even a small current through the body. In U.S. prisons, in U.S. prison practice, an alternating current of about 2,000 volts is used for electrocution. The criminal to be electrocuted is strapped into a specially constructed electric chair. One electrode is applied to the scalp, the other to the calf of one leg. The electrodes are moistened with a salt solution to ensure adequate contact. Death usually occurs within two minutes after the current has started to flow through the body. circuit or closed loop. Electricity travels only in a closed loop and from generator to equipment to earth. Electric shock occurs when the body touches the energized wire while it is in contact with the ground. The severity of the shock is determined by the following. The amount and duration or rate of current flowing in amps and exposure time of the current flow. The part of the body through which the, electro the electric current flows. The resistance of the body, determined in part by whether it is moist or dry. The type of current with which uh, contact is made, 60 hertz, 120 volts AC is more dangerous than uninterrupted DC. Frequencies, since at higher frequencies the body experiences heat instead of shock, the place in the heart cycle when the shock occurs, the age of the person, the size of the person, and the physical condition of the person about avoiding and limiting shock. First, remove your jewelry. This helps increase the resistance to current flow. It also prevents the jewelry from arc welding to your body. Next, use the one hand rule. Put one hand in your pocket. This helps prevent the current from flowing through your heart, causing fibrillation and 
later death. Proper use of the garbage disposal. First, we turn the cold water on. Stuff our organic matter down in the disposal. If your hands get a little wet, dry them off with a towel. Take, take the dry towel. Turn the switch on. Turn it off with the towel. And turn off the cold water. And that. Steam irons must be switched off and unplugged before filling. When you've finished ironing, do not wrap the wire around the hot iron. It will ruin the insulation, and next time you use it, it may lead to shock. Wait till it's cool before putting it away. I'd like to cover with you, but it's past my bedtime. Good night.